Hey guys, so I am back and I am going to share with you guys a few of my favorite beauty items or current beauty things that I have been loving. Um, they're all mostly beauty or hair care and then I have one like accessory sort of thing that I thought I would share because I have been totally wearing these like every day. Um, obviously I switched them out but I've been wearing them like constantly since I've gotten them. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video so it's not super long. Um, but let's talk about the beauty products first. So I have three beauty products that I have totally have been obsessing over, um, and they are my Naked Basics 2, and I've been using this a ton just because I feel like when they said it was more cool tone um, taupe colors and they worked really good with fair like blondish sort of hair um, or fair skin, I thought this was like the perfect palette because I was using the heck out of the Naked Basics um, for my eyebrows because I have dyed my hair so my eyebrows apparently can't be black so um, I had to lighten them um, and then I also have been using different brow color, brow color powders to fill them in but what I have been using lately has been the Naked Basics I've been using Frisk or Stark I just put it in my brows and then I have been going it over with it with the Gimme Brow from Benefit um, I had purchased this color uh, prior to like, I don't know, a couple months back and I absolutely hated it because I had my super dark hair and I had gotten the color light medium I think, but I guess with my darker hair, even though it wasn't so dark, it just looked like a clear brow gel to me and I didn't feel like it gave my hair, my eyebrows any like volume or fullness to them. So I returned this baby and then um, recently I was chosen by Benefit and Birchbox to do like a... Uh, what is it called? Beauty Bash. And I actually hosted it and they sent me the Gimme Brow, the light medium, and then the medium dark. I'm not sure. There's two colors. And I have been using this and I absolutely fell in love with it and I'm so happy that they sent it to me because when I first got it, it just didn't work for me, the color. But now that I have gotten lighter hair and like I really need to get my brows, you know, they have to be done. If not, I look like I have no face. Um, I have been totally obsessing over this product, so thanks Benefit and Birchbox. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. And then I have two more Benefit products. I purchased these with my own money. Um, one of the products I bought when it first came out and then they sent me the same one or, uh, in that box. But I actually have purchased both of these products with my own money or my boyfriend purchased one of them for me. So all thoughts and opinions are my own. Um, like I said, I am a huge Benefit like product fanatic. Like I love almost every Benefit product except for that back then, but now I'm in love with it. Um, my foundation, my Holy Grail foundation is like the Benefit uh, Hello Oxygen Flawless, whatever that Hello Gorgeous foundation is, is my favorite. But um, anyways, back into that, I picked up Majorette, which is this amazing um, peach sort of blush. And it looks amazing with my skin color now because, or with my hair, it just brings out a nice like flush glowy look. And it's a cream to powder finish and it just basically works really nice and it's like this I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick it up on the camera because the lighting but it's just a really nice like peachy it's just a healthy glow look and mine smells like tangerines I know the one at Sephora the sample did not smell like it but mine I got it from Ulta it smells like tangerines and it's just amazing it's kind of cute the packaging but I kind of like I mean I like it but I'm kind of used to having the box blush sort of thing so it just doesn't really fit in my little acrylic drawer so I leave it into my vanity but this has also been a favorite and I have been using it like crazy um, the other product is something my boyfriend purchased for me when it first came out because I was like I need this in my life and I hate doing a wing liner because I suck at it but this is my little baby and it's the their real push up liner and it's just amazing it works really really well and it's kind of hard at first when you first uh, use it but once you get used to like how you apply it, it just makes it so much easier and it's kind of foolproof in a way because your wings, I mean, they really can't be messed up. But um, that's that. I also have the remover for this because that's what my boyfriend had gotten me, the liner and the remover. You don't need a remover if you have makeup wipes because it comes off with that. But if you're obviously trying to wash it off with soap and water, it's going to be really tough especially around your eye area but you don't necessarily need the remover I bought the remover or he bought it thinking that we needed it but you didn't so that's that and I think I just twisted this baby up a little more but yeah this is also what I have totally have been loving highly recommend these products um, 
And then lately, what I have been using the heck out of as far as hair care has been this Wella. I call it Wella, and my mom's like, no, honey, it's Wella. Whatever it is, I've been using the heck out of it. It's the Oil Reflections um, Soothing Oil, and it's just this glass. I like the bottle because it's like glass and has like this little like pump and I have been using the heck out of this since I have colored my hair. Um, I feel like it gives my hair a nice healthy like it just brings back so much moisture to my hair without making it look greasy and stringy and I can apply a lot of this without it being like weighing down my hair. Obviously I wouldn't apply this when I didn't have color treated hair as much. I would just do it to my ends but now I focus it on you know my hair is color treated. I need as much nourishment nourishment as I can get. So this works amazing. I am on my second bottle. This is empty. So you can tell that I have been loving this. And it's just amazing. It smells really nice. It's not sticky or tacky. And it just works really well with my hair. Obviously it's going to work differently for other people. Um, I have a lot of hair and I have thick long hair. And my hair is obviously color treated. And I feel like that just works really, really, really well for me. The next two products are also from the Wella line and these are just um, they're they came together and it's just a velvet amplifier and it's a primer I never knew that there was hair primers like it's a style primer like what I didn't even know that like I had no idea but obviously now that I've been doing my hair and like you know styling it and trying to keep up with it as much as possible without like totally going bald or like making my hair super like dead um, I've been into more hair care products and so I have been loving this. It's like a little pump and it's like a, it feels like the Smashbox, like that type of texture, that silicone base, but it actually like works really nice in your hair. Like you put it in your hair when it's wet, I usually will like air dry it and then I will wake up in the morning and my hair will kind of be less frizzy, more tameable. And then once I'm done styling my hair or if I'm just going to go wet to dry, I will use the Shimmer Delight Finishing. Um, it's just a finishing spray. I'm not sure if this is a hairspray. It doesn't like make it crunchy like a hairspray. I don't use hairsprays in my hair. Well, if I use this and it's a hairspray, then I guess I do now. But um, it's just, it says hold one. I guess there's like a line one, two, three, and there's a truck in front of my car, at my house. That's really making noise. I think that's a fire thing, but whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is something I've been using. I just focus this sometimes on my ends or on my flyaways. I don't really use this as much as I use those, but this is really nice. And, I mean, I recently got it, and I'm already this way down. So it's a nice product, and I highly recommend them if you have color-treated hair. Sticking with my weave, um, I have still have been using my Agave Healing Oil ones. I do like them. I do use these when I am not using the purple shampoo, and I'll show you which shampoo I use. Um, these are nice. They leave my hair, like, really, like, weightless, and they make my hair feel nice, and they just do really great things. I am kind of running low because I've had them for a little while now, um, so I kind of want to save them and switch to something else just so that I can go back to it when my hair really needs a nice boost. But these have definitely been, you know... A love for me and then my holy grail shampoo because I am in the midst of trying to get it as toned as possible without having to put so much bleach into my hair I mean I already have I don't know God knows what the lady put in my hair bleach and what other things but she did a mild version of it so like my roots do come out quicker because I my hair grows like Rapunzel um, and then I do have since she doesn't want to put a super intense like bleach or color in my hair my roots do come out quicker and they are a little more yellowier than my ends but and I do have highlights within it it's kind of a process within itself my hair on what it is if you're interested in that leave it in the comment section and I'll like do a whole video dedicated to that of like what they did to my hair but yeah so I use this purple shampoo and it's just a shimmer lights shampoo for blonde and silver and I got this at Sally's and it's like 17 something but I when I bought it my mom actually is a blonde so she had it first but when she bought it I think we got it on sale for like 14 because of my friend Sally Pro Card and some discount they had going on for this thing so I pretty much use the heck out of this and it's still halfway full and it's just a really really vibrant like this is the color of the shampoo like it's that color so um what I do is I put it in my hair I used to do it like once a month or when I started to need it 
when I started to use it, like my hair needed it, I think. But then I started talking to my stylist and I was like, is there like a limit to the amount of times I could use a toner? She was like, no, you're fine. Just, you know, put it on when you feel like you need it. So I came home and I just literally, when my hair is, when I need to wash my hair, I will wet my hair, I'll rinse it out, and then I'll put like the shampoo in my hair and like, Basically, it's like a color. I look like I feel like I'm coloring my hair Barney color. And I like apply it to as much as I can see and all that and I focus it, you know. And then I let it put in a tie and I let it sit and then I'll probably do like 10 to 25 minutes depending on how long I'm timing it. Then I hop in the shower and then I like rinse it out. And I will see that my hair still sometimes has, like you can see the streaks, the highlights that I have, they'll be purple. And once I rinse it, rinse it out, it still will leave my hair like a purpley color. But it's more of a grayish silver color, which I prefer than anything yellow or brassier. So I don't mind it. I just condition my hair and then I alternate, you know, I'll use that or I'll use the agave one. And then... The next time I wash my hair out, I'll use a deep conditioner again, and then I just kind of will, the color will just fade away that was in my hair. So while my hair some days will look a little more purpley or more, bra more toned down, more grayish, but then once I rinse it out again, it will probably go back to the way it is. This is my second time um, during the week where I shampooed it, so it is a little less purplier. During the week, it was a lot more purple, and it looked okay. I mean, I didn't mind it, but it was a little too purple this time because I left it in a little too long. So discretion do that at your own risk um it's just shampoo with like toner things in there um but that's yeah what i've been totally using and then lastly but definitely not the least is something that i have been wearing since i've ordered them um and it's just been these hot pink um earrings from groove and stitch i don't think they're called fuchsia um and they're these this is what they look like and I have been wearing these like crazy. They're super lightweight. They're like my favorite earring to alt, like to wear of all time. And I just ordered these with the lavender ones. And I have been switching them out. I have four pairs now in total. My girlfriends and I like ordered them. And we have, you know, we've ordered, I ordered a pair for my girlfriend. And we got matching. She's in the military, so she left back to Japan. But we got matching lavender earrings. I thought they would be the cutest thing ever for us to have our little like BFF earrings and we picked I picked these up for us I ordered them online they came in pretty quick and so they're the lavender ones and I feel like they look so nice with my hair color um, and then before that I don't remember if I hauled them or not but I picked up the peach ones I think they're called peach something I don't know the name of it I'll list the website for Groove and Stitch down below if you're interested um, but I picked up these with three other of my friends and we decided to get matching earrings and we got the peach ones, and I'm not sure if you could see that, but I feel like they're just really pretty. And these are actually, like, I feel like they're getting a lot of wear because I wear these a lot. Like, these are, like, my neutral earrings. I have to wear red for work, so I feel like, although they're orangey, peachy color, they actually go really, really well with my uniform. They don't look crazy, so when I'm not wearing the pink ones, I'm more than likely wearing these. Or if I like forgot to take off my lavender ones, then I'm wearing those. But I love them and they're currently like my favorite. Um, and then of course these are really light. Um, I don't care with the whole season thing you have to wear. I haven't worn these though lately, but these are the very first pair that I've gotten. And I love them still. They're my neon yellow ones. And I get a lot of questions about these like all the time because they're so bam in your face. Let's see if the light, yeah. That'll help you see them. But yeah, so these are the first ones. So like I said, I have four, three pairs now, and I'm probably going to get another pair. I think I want the black next, but um, they have out new ones coming out, like the metallic, uh, like metal-y ones. They're really pretty. Um, definitely check them out because I feel like these are so light, and they just go with everything, and they're so girly, and I love them. So um, those have been my... Oh, wait, nope. I have one more aside from that. Those were my favorites, and also this baby, due to my hair, like this little tangle fix brush, elite tangle fix thingy, it's from Ulta. I had to take this one for my mom because I lost my goody one, my nephew did actually, and this has been like my go-to thing. This is how I detangle my hair and like get as minimal breakage as possible. So this is like my holy grail thing, I like love this stuff. And if you haven't tried this, you need this in your life because it is just the best brush thing ever. You can brush your hair when it's wet without like breaking or like tang getting your hair knotted. It's just the best. So 
These are my current beauty favorites. If you have any questions about anything, leave them in the down bar and I, or in the comment section and I definitely will get back to you if I haven't answered it already in the down bar. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!